Hello, gamers. There we go. Hello, 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 hello. I'm going to play more of the Pokemon ROM hack that I was playing the other day. Uh, just as a refresher, uh, it is Pokemon Emerald, but it adds all the Pokemon from up to Sword and Shield, including DLC. Well, yes, including DLC, because I think Galarian Slowpoke is in, but not like Legendaries. Uh... Yeah, uh, I, I don't think there's a whole lot to say about it. Uh, let's just, uh, let me just open up the thing. Well, not, well, not a whole lot to say about, uh, about this ROM hack that I didn't say last time. It'd be nice if the thing would open. There we go. Now I need to remind, I need to remind the thing, the stream. That this is the thing that it needs to look at. Oy vey. Maybe I need to open the game before it'll acknowledge. My whole situation is whack. I'm sure you can hear the game now, but it, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay. All right, so two badges uh, last last time we, we were here, when we last left our hero, who is me. Uh, the badges that I got are... Uh, wait, that's not going to show you my badges. Uh, I got the, the, the Brawly badge and the, the Dad badge. Three hours. The, 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 the little guys on my team so far. Uh, Torvald. Uh, wait, Torvald, Sapienza, Archetot, who doesn't evolve until level 30 in this ROM hack for some reason. And Sparky, my dog. Uh, you gotta go to the front, because you, you do not have as much levels. Alright, I've got a flying gem. Thank you. Oh, this is like, the, 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 in this ROM hack, I guess, maybe... Did they make it so, like, Sableye picks up gems? Little, little buddy ability? I'm really bothered by that pixel that appears on my hat. My hair hat. I'm running. You see that pixel, like that straight, that, that like pixel that appears for one of the two frames. Got to kill me. I'm not quite sure what I want to do next. So, uh, first off, let me look over the map, and I'll, I'll I'll tell you I did a little bit of reconnaissance. Uh. If you remember last time I streamed, if you were here last time I streamed, uh, I saw the... Uh, I was looking in the Pokedex for the location of Trico, or just a gra any Grass-type starter. Uh, the Pokedex says that the, the uh, Grass-type starters can be found in Petalburg Woods, but as far as I can tell, that is actually untrue. They are given out if you have to get green shards and give them to the shards guy who is like somewhere around here on Route 20, 124, I think. Uh, not a bit, not a huge deal. I'm not quite sure where I want to go next. I'm kind of thinking of honestly just going to Mallville City, but like skipping the gym, going to. Uh, Going to Mount Pyre, seeing seeing what lives there. Uh, just because Mount Pyre has some cool guys. Uh, well, I assume it has some cool guys because it's the Ghost Mountain. And then maybe Fortree City. I'm not exactly keen on doing an Electric Gym right now. Uh, 
but the longer I put it off, I guess it's gonna only get harder. But I don't really have any, any way of dealing with electric. I don't have any way of dealing with, like, flying either, but I'm less scared. <sighs> if I think about it, I would ra I remember Winona, the flying, the flying gym leader, having some real bastards in the, in the regular game. Last time I was playing, it was nighttime, so there aren't going to be some Pokemon who are not seen before. This is not exactly an exciting one to bump into. Gotta be honest. Mr. Briny is not home, which is scary. Oh, uh, one thing I could do is... Uh, let me a second here. Go check out the trick room again. Uh, the, the trick house. In Ruby and Sapphire, this lady is a rich boy. And it's, it keeps throwing me off whenever I'm through here. auto run thing that I want to toggle back off, but I forget how... Oh, there we go. I have to flip through the option. Okay. Wait! I forgot. I can just, instead of instead of walking, I can make make the B button I can make the B button be run walk instead of run. Keep looking for Pokemon around here. Just see what's up. Oh, hello. That's a good sprite. That's just fun to view. She be dabbing. He be dabbing. He be dabbing. Excuse me. I shouldn't look at pink and just assume. <sighs> By the way, I have water, so ain't none of you people in the chat can be like, stay hydrated. Hate that. Give it one more, one more look in here before I hit the road. Dust stocks. Poison me with your powder. So how's everybody feeling about, uh... Pokemon Legends Arceus? I said it right this time. I said his name right. I said the name of God correctly. Pokemon marketing team can't kill me. I'm probably not going to get it, because I'm not sure that I'm really into a uh, single-player Pokemon experience. Honestly, I, I feel like that's not really what I want out of Pokemon. I want to trade and battle and do sicko shit. I want to be a battle pervert. Oh, God. It scared me. Um, I also don't really think the gameplay looks all that appealing to me even without without a side but i am ultimately very glad that they're doing something different with pokemon uh and all the all the new the, the hisuian pokemon designs are uh very very cool i mean i, I have looked at the leaks Oh, ba 
bastard. What? Oh. Oh no! I'm about to get caught! No! Everybody that knows that if you're normal, a ghost can't affect you. I'm dead. Uh, but chat out about it be deader. about it now and Sonic Boom did a lot of work for me last stream. I would love to see a Ghost Hunter TV show in Pokemon World. I want to see what kind of Pokemon Zach Bagans would use. I feel like Zach Bagans would have a Scraft. Zack Bacon's is weak to ghosts, because that guy's always freaking out. That guy is always flipping his shit. Zack Bacon's might be a psychic type. Or a psychic type, or like a psychic aligned guy. I mean, we do know that there are psychics in Pokemon, right? Like, like, like there are like all the time, like people like bending spoons and shit. There, you got so many Sabrinas out there. So it's not like people having psychic powers is unusual for Pokemon. And thus, Zach Vegans in Pokemon could be a psychic type. But I'm, I'm more mean that I think he's a psychic type in that he is very weak to ghosts. buy great balls yet. Thank you. Money is at a premium in this game, I feel like. So I'm trying not to spend too much, but I do want some ball. Alright. Wait. Eh, it doesn't matter. I can go this way. Oh, what? Did you just become a trainer? We're both beginners. I have two badges, motherfucker. Squovit. <gasps> Zach Bagon! Oh my god, yes! Yeah, you, yes! Uh, hang on. Uh, opening up my, my document for Pokemon ROM hack ideas. Zach Bagon's Pokemon trainer who uses a Bagon. Okay. I just have I just have a, a writing a, a Google Doc that I write I shitty ideas in anytime they happen. Squove it stockpiled one. Die! What? Stuff cheeks! That's bullshit. I'm gonna have to work up. Oh, this bastard. Oh. Die! Fucking squirrel ruining my life! Uh, 
Uh, <laughs> that doesn't do shit to me because I was already, I was already worked up once. So now I'm just back to normal, motherfucker. No. Oh! Mm, everybody's got double team. Pissing me off. I do have a way around it, at least if this becomes a problem. Because my sable eye has uh, foresight, which should be able to take care of evasion problems. <sighs> oh, the Nuzlocke guy! The guy from Nuzlocke! He's here! Uh, ooh, ow. I flinched in real life. This guy is exactly like the guy from Lost, is the thing. I'm about to end this man's whole career. If you ever watched Lost, this is how, um, this is how, how John Locke protagonist of Lost dies. He gets bit by a bug and takes four times damage from it. <laughs> it's really funny that does Locke just stuck forever. Does anybody even remember Lost anymore? I, I, I'm lying. I know many Lost fans. Uh, my friend Washi and her wife are Lost fans. They got Chess and her wife to become Lost fans. Lost fans. Lost fans. There's plenty of Lost fans, unfortunately. Okay, but Old Dale Town is going to be very useful. I'm going to have to remember to come here. Uh, because this is where you change nature so you get the, the, the things that you get the, the jolly ranchers and the bold ranchers and the adamant ranchers and the gentle ranchers the modest ranchers you get the joke that I'm doing and this uh, this is why I'm saving my money So last time I played, it was nighttime, so it was only Galarian Zigzagoon all over the place. the one where it's it, it, it's based on speed. Might be good to remember that uh, Voltorb can get that when it's Electro. Oh, hey, it's Professor Birch. Ah, Evan. Are you curious about how your Pokédex is coming along? Mm hmm So you've seen 36 Pokémon and you've caught 6 Pokémon. Go into grassy areas more and look for Pokémon more carefully. Nationwide basis. We've seen 83 Pokemon and caught 13 Pokemon. Alright, thanks. Thanks, thanks, guy. Oh. Oh! Lickitung? I, I looked up how that works. When that pop up happens, if you hit. Uh, if you hit R. R uh, whatever you have assigned is the, po the, the the dex nav button. It'll make a hidden Pokemon appear. Not sure I want to go with Lickitung, but I will catch Lickitung. Lickitung will, will, will join the party for a bit, I think. I don't 
don't really need another normal type. I don't like my dog too much. I would love to just have an all dog team. I think I did look up where you get Yamper. because it memorizes things by texture and taste. It is somewhat put off sour things. I'm not really a big fan of Lick a Tongue. I love Lick a Licky. I haven't fought these two yet. Dodge! I could just do this? Does this... Just, this doesn't happen in regular Pokemon Emerald, right? I know that there's, like, the tree headbutting mechanic in, uh, like, Heart Gold Soul, Soul Silver. Has it just been that long? Whoa. How'd you get into a space this small? Did my guitar's wailing draw you in? Alright, Rhett! This guy's so gone with the wind. Another Voltorb. somehow had the ability to put Hisui and Voltorb and Hisui and Electrode uh, oh, fuck you. into this ROM hack immediately, frame one. That's completely unreasonable, and I don't think it would even... I mean, first of all, you need the arts, the art assets, you would need the... Uh, to know what their moves are. But I love those guys. I've always been a big uh, Voltorb defender. And it's fun. I, I think a, uh, like, electric grass typing is cool. I wonder where you get Rotom. Rotom. Rotom, Rotom, Rotom. Uh... Hang on. The game did come with a big zip file of, like, where everything is. Let me look this up. Rotom is in New Mauville. That's not far. Uh, people have actually already done uh, the Siri Voltorb. And to see the electro sprites for ROM hack purposes. Uh, it, oh, hey, Toxel. Hey. Uh, let's see. Oh, man, my, my Sapiens ain't doing so hot. Like, this Pokemon is weird and not an animal, so it's bad. 
I, I hate that that's like a thing. Uh, yes, I will get rid of tackle. Uh, anybody who hates vanillish and vanillite, like that wine, vanilla. If you hate the, the the ice creams, I kill you. If you hate Garbodor, I kill you. forever about Gen 1. Uh, Pokemon like Mr. Mime and Lickitung, who you can only get through trades, are in the Kanto Pokédex. Technically, wouldn't they be... Uh, they, they should be Johto guys, because the first time you see them in the wild, they're in Johto. That's where they're wild. You only get them from, like, randos who drifted into Kanto. You can't call Mr. Mime a Kanto Pokemon just because some guy in Kanto had one. Fuck you! Your Pokedex is whack, Professor Oak. What's this going to do for me? Okay, thanks. I, I am so perplexed by this mechanic. Murkrow and Houndor are Kanto Pokemon. Thank you. Thank you. Exactly. This is what I'm saying. Okay, so what's... What's Trick Master up to? Uh, he's still working on his next trick. Alright, I'll, I'll leave him be. I'm gonna go heal, and I am going to go to New Mallville. Malville. I've never had to say Malville out loud until streaming this game, basically. I guess it's Malville. Murkrow and Handor piss me off even more because they're not in- they're- like, when they're introduced, <laughs> there's another place they could have been. I mean, you know, from a gameplay standpoint, it's not that. I'm not saying, like, for some reason the devs. It's just, it's funny to think about. Uh, okay. This guy is contemplating the orb. I've got some cool Pokemon in the grass around here. <laughs> That's what I, youngster TV, sound like. <sighs> I forgot I still had Lickitung. <laughs> I think I might be best with leaving my dog out. Togedomaru is so shaped. And this, I didn't realize Retaliate has, like, no PB. Uh, I don't think I'm going to put on Takedown just yet. Damn. 
damn, get fucked. Alright, shit. Be cool wasn't enough to win. What's this sign say? Trader tips. The items in the bag can be reorganized by pressing select. Huge if true. I gotta fight it. The optile. Honestly, I, I, it's been. I've been thinking about it, and I, I. Hang on, something just popped up on my phone. Huh? What the fuck are you talking about? I don't have voice shit on my phone. Go to hell. What did I say to make that happen? I'm kind of freaked out. <laughs> I'm guessing that came through my mic because I leaned into it. I'm just gonna throw my phone away. My phone started talking to me, if it didn't come through. Uh, and I don't have any sort of, like, voice activation shit on that I know of. Sorry, I'm just having a moment here. Oh, my phone is backseat, backseat gaming. Okay, so... My train of thought has been annihilated. I've been thinking about it, and you kind of do just want to fight as many trainers as uh, as possible before, uh, like doing every gym, because every that means everybody's going to be lower level. Well, that's kind of boring and tedious, and not fun to watch if you're watching a stream of a video. Gal gotta say. Oh, you just have a radius of one. Ah, <laughs> I'll dazzle you with my wonders. Girls be saying this. Is there trainer rebattling? Uh, so I think it, it's the same as with Pokemon Emerald. You can call people who give you their phone numbers on the phone and then they refight you. Uh, I think you can refight the gym leaders once per day. Also, Sparky died. Oh, my dog died. Uh, so if I were to go back to Duford or Petalburg, I think I could fight Brawly or Dad again. I don't think I ever, like, said anything about that on the previous stream, so that was a valid question either way. These fucking guys, Plusle and Mina. These are the most evil Pokemon. I, I feel like there is a malice within them that nobody's really brave enough to address. See, look at this shit! Oh, this guy is hype! Look at him up there! Okay, full throttle time. If you can't groove, you get left behind. Russell and Minan are, like, very bottom tier in terms of Pokemon because the designs are not totally, they're not, like, fun and original. They're not even, like, good variations on the, the Pikachu archetype. Uh, and also, they just suck, is the thing. Like, like, they are... 
even if you're like doing doubles, like Pokemon doubles, they're not good in that either. Like, the, the entire gimmick of them is, these are guys who are good if you use them together in doubles, and then... Yeah, they exist to introduce a mechanic you don't get to use much, and they're not even good at using that mechanic. Damn! Let's go, Magnemite! Yeah, Plusle is Duking's baby, for sure. That's, like, the, the biggest uh, cultural footprint of Plusle. Plusle and Minon are fucking tiny in Coliseum and XD, also. I love the idea of a guy who is just, like, all in on Plusle. Fuck Minon. Minon go to hell. Oh! Oh! God, all the, all the Pokémon I'm into, who I've run into so far, are electric types. I can't have so many electric types. Wait, yeah, fuck! Oh, wait. Uh, no, I... <laughs> I just had a brave moment there. I, I was like, oh, no, shit, I tried to use an electric move on Le Elekid. And you can't do that. Uh, first of all, I didn't. I was just looking at Sableye get paralyzed. Second of all, it's... Electivire with motor drive ability, who you shouldn't use electric moves on. Third of all, Sableye doesn't have electric moves. I don't know. I'm fail streamer. I just had like this gut reaction, primal instinctual anger to something that didn't exist whatsoever. catch you, but I'm probably not going to use you. No! No, wait, shit! I wanted to catch you! Well, you know what? Fuck you. If you didn't want to be on the team, you should have got... You, you fucked up. You can stay dead. I really like the entire Ella Kid line. I'm so depleted. I don't think I should uh, try. I should try and avoid fights, but uh, well. Damn, this person set up a fucking trap for me. Did you see that? Did you see that shit? I didn't even know that was like possible. I removed the item and that like drew their aggro. This is the most dastardly character in all of Pokemon. Holy shit. Psychic Edward! You are a motherfucker! Yeah, but you did fail to prophesize your own demise. I just had a feeling that there was a thing there. If Psychic Edward had more than one Pokemon, that would have that that would have been the most evil character in all of Pokemon. I would have had to change the stream tag to evil characters. I think this guy is not a trainer, but he gives you he is a trainer. I thought he was a guy who just gives you one of the rods. Relish. I'm dead. I'm alive. It's really funny to think about a fisherman just fishing up a ghost jellyfish and being like, this is my new best friend. 
You fished up a whale, my dude. I think this guy might be bad at fishing. Wilmer is such a guy. Look at him. He, he be chillin'. Disable for everything has had fucking double team, so I don't want to get rid of foresight. This game is very eager to give Pokemon double team. Knockoff is good. I think that's better than that's definitely better than Fury Swipes. Okay. Damn. Why is why am I just getting tons of attacks all of a sudden? Might have wanted faint attack over knock off, but it's fine. Who's this kid? Wouldn't it be great to ride a bike at full speed on cycling road? <laughs> Hi, do you check out TV at all? They've added a bunch of cool new shows recently. TV is so cool. I've seen my friends on TV just out of the blue, and sometimes they even put you on TV without telling you. I wish I would be on TV sometime. That's why I think you should check out TVs wherever you can. I'm not prepared to process this kid's deal right now. The kid's got a lot of, lot, lot of going on there. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe I'm thinking I gotta go for the weirdest tree possible. <sighs> Eventually, this is gonna do something and I'm gonna freak out. Why did they add... Uh, question mark add this. I don't know if they added this, but... Did you know you can save in the start menu faster by pressing select? Uh... Huh? Oh, wait. There we go. Okay, if you bring up the start menu, then press select. That's a rum hack thing! I'm glad this random guy in the house knows... knows about the concept of saving. Oh, she's gonna talk about my Pokemon! I am on TV! That kid's prophecy came true! Fuck you, Psychic Edward. The TV kid is all where it's all about. Today I shall do a reading of the nickname Architot of Evan's Pokemon Cricketot. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. This nickname is a very fine nickname that hints a greatness to come. I am intrigued about what the future holds in store for this Pokemon. The nickname Architot has a sublime, flowing feeling to it. The flow from the initial letter A to R is especially wonderful. I must say that Architot is quite a good nickname. I gotta name a Pokemon 69 so I can hear him talk about the flow from the number 6 to the number 9. I hope the trainer will continue to, continue to treat Architot with love. That's it for today's show. Maybe we meet again. Alright. Oh shit, wait! If they didn't change anything in this ROM hack... No! 
No, the weird guys aren't here. The the guys you get like uh, uh record mixed. Uh I was I there's like the, those weird funny guys who live in in the Pokemon Center. And uh they let me just bring up the Bulbapedia page on Mauville City. It's easier than me trying to explain it off my dome. This. The guys who, like, get changed around when you mix records. Old. Oh, okay, wait, hang on. Okay, there's... The reason they're not on this page is because they have an entirely different page. Uh, the first paragraph of, for Mauville City on Bulbapedia says, Mauville City, uh, Japanese Kinsetsu City, is located in central Hoenn and serves as the hub for travelers throughout the Hoenn region. The city is also notable for its old guys. And then old guys is a link to a different page. The old guys are a quintet of non-player characters that appear in Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, and Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. They are all located at the Mauville po City Pokemon Center, later Mauville Hills, and Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. The only one will be present at a time. They differ in the color of their hair and clothing. In Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, the final digit of the player's trainer ID number determines which of the five men will initially appear in Mauville City Pokemon Center. The following list details which number corresponds with which man. If the trainer's ID ends in 0 or 1, the bard will appear. If the trainer's ID ends in 2 or 3, the hipster will appear. If the trainer's ID ends in 4 or 5, the trader will appear. If the trainer's ID ends in 6 or 7, the storyteller will appear. If the trainer's ID ends in 8 or 9, Giddy will appear. Okay, but it doesn't talk about what they do. Oh wait, yes it does. I need to look down. Uh, okay. Well, let me tell you about these old guys. Giddy will have a scintillating story for the player, asking a series of yes or no questions. He appears to have a brother, Gaddy, and a niece who live in Lavere City in the Kalos region. Giddy's questions in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald are based on either a word from the easy chat system or something else, such as if the player knows a nice place for a location. Uh, in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, Giddy will reward the player with the speed O power. For answering his questions. Uh, there's some important fucking lore to these old men who I'm describing who have been fucking scrubbed from this ROM hack, cowardly. And it, it's about O powers. Remember that term, O power. The hipster will tell the player a collection of trendy words. In Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, he adds a number of phrases to the game's easy chat system. Uh, he will add one phrase each time he is talked to after records are mixed. In Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, he will use a bunch of trendy words and reward the player with one or two O powers for listening. Uh, he will first appear after the player has the Dynamo badge and ramble once. For listening to his trendy words the first time, he will give the player the befriending power. After the player has the heat badge, he will tell the player more trendy words and give the player the encounter power and accuracy power. And leave. The Bard! This was the guy I had in my game, and uh, th this guy was extremely fun. The Bard. Uh, known in Japanese as singer, songwriter, old man. Uh, in Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, he will sing songs made up of six words 
or phrases from the easy chat system he will then tell the player he isn't happy with the lyrics and then ask them to change one word or phrase when the bard sings the game will make noises that sound very vaguely like the words or phrases in the song there is like a very bad very very bad quote unquote text to speech situation going on uh, so I had him, I would mix records with my sister's game to make it so he is refreshed. Uh, and I would mix him back to me and I would like make him say the weirdest words possible. I, one time I think I made him say Jirachi a bunch because you can only have Jirachi in the easy chat system. Uh, if you had Jirachi, so it was like a rare word. Uh, if the bard attempts to sing a phrase that is exclusive to Pokemon Emerald in Pokemon Ruby or Sapphire, such as Tower, the phrase will appear as... Uh? That's that's how I pronounce three question marks. Uh, in Omega Ruby Alva Sapphire, he will sing two lines of the song, then give the player an O-Power as an apology for singing an unfinished song. The Traitor. Uh, good trading old man in Japanese. He will give you dusk old doll, ball cushion, tire, or pretty, pretty flowers, secret base items. Uh, but he will only trade these to you once each time you have mixed records. Uh, and then there is the storyteller. He will tell tales of legendary traders. Trainers, trainers, trainers. I, I'm still thinking about trading. He will tell the player a selection of statistics about players and make a comment about it. He will give a list of up to four stories that he knows and ask the player to pick one that they want to hear. He will tell the player uh, the number of times a pl the player or a player has mixed records with the... with... Hang on, let me read this, read this back, because it, the, the cadence of this is weird. He will tell the player the number of times the player or a player has mixed record with, has done the topic of the story. There has got to be a better way you can write this. He has a number of subjects for, like, statistics that the game is tracking in private. And he will tell them how many times, tell you how many times you've done it or how many times someone you mixed records with has done it. Uh, after he, uh, if you are playing an Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, after he realizes he is talking to the legendary trainer he is describing, he will give you the PP restoring power. After the player has entered the Hall of Fame, he will tell the player he can go home now, having met the legendary trainer that is the player. Uh, things he tracks include how many times you've used item finder, how many times you've used cut, how many times you've moved your secret base, how many times you rode the cable car to Mount Chimney, uh, etc. etc. That kind of stuff. Trivial. Uh, but, as I mentioned, there is lore to these men. Uh, I'm just being a lore keeper here. Uh, so... can't use my bike here. Uh, I we need to talk about we need to talk about Mr. Bonding from Pokemon Gen 6. Uh, okay, first of all, there is an insane in-game event in Pokemon Sun and Moon Gen 7 where if you trade a Soul Rock or Lunatone to the game, so you know, Sun and Moon. They're the Sun and Moon Pokemon. So if you trade like a Soul Rock to Sun or a Lunatone to Moon, and take them to the desert, uh, you are visited by a fucking alien man. Um, the alien man talks about how he gave Star Pulse powers to a group of wonderful men 30 years prior. And then your Soul Rock or Lunatone produces the sound of the O powers from Gen 6. Uh, it is an insane event. It implies that all of the men who I just described got their powers from aliens? Huh? So there's some lore. 
This is canon Pokemon. I'm not talking about the ROM hack. Uh, I'm talking about actual canon Pokemon. So if you if you did this in Sun and Moon, uh, that that is the backstory you get on the the six old men who I just described to you. Five old men, excuse me. Uh, in Gen Six, uh, after you've talked to all of the, the the funny old men who I've just described, they will move to their apartment that they all share, and they want to pass their powers to somebody. Uh, what you need to do is you find a powerless man who is also living in Mauville City. Uh, he's complaining about how he has no power and he's the weakest guy ever. He's weak as shit. Uh, you have to take this powerless weak man to these five old men and they give, they give him their powers? It's not quite clear what the powers are, but apparently they have powers. The, the giddy, the hipster, the bard, the traitor, and the storyteller. And they fuse all of their powers, their old man powers, into this weak man and turn him into the character of Mr. Bonding. Uh, Mr. Bonding is a guy from Pokemon X and Y, and he walks around and starts giving you O powers, which can, like, you can share with your friends that are... It, it's like buffs that work on a timer that activate with anybody who sees you online. Uh... There's, there, so the, all of those come from space, and then from old man, and then from Mr. Bonding. It's the circle of life. Space, old man, Mr. Bonding. Uh, this is, this is my Pokemon lore TED talk. <laughs> okay, let me play the game again. What's this guy? There is no mystery gift available at this moment. Who's this kid? What are you doing up here? Did you know you can link battle with the Coliseum here? They put your record on the wall for everyone to see. It's embarrassing if you lose more often than you win. Oh boy, do I know that kid. I know, I know that feel. I can't use that because I'm playing on an emulator. That man over there, he says weird things. He's funny in a weird way. I doubt I'll forget about him. They're still talking about the old men even though they've been erased from this world. The old men have been sundered, but their memory persists. When I accessed the record corner, the data for what's hot in Duford got updated. Now that bit of data is the same as my friends. Why do you know this? Why are you aware of this mechanically? Old men running the world. I didn't really say it, give the, the proper delivery, but I do love that line. Okay, uh, you know what I'm gonna check? What Pokemon are here? Okay, I can exchange my coins for prizes here. I don't have enough coins! Well, that'll be great for when I have a secret base. This poor chef. He's been hitting the slots too hard. Does the roulette tables have different rates? Check your coins if you're going to pick a table. I forgot there were, like, two different gambling games in Gen 3. Well, I can't do it because I don't have a, a case. Uh... Hello? Does anybody in here have coin case? Do you have coin case? No. Do you have coin case? Do you have coin case? Oh, bike shop. This is good. Wait, hang on, he's saying... He's saying some shit here. I need to... This is original dialogue. I didn't realize until I saw lowercase i. I'm happy the bikes are more widespread now. Back in the day, I used to give trainers some of my bikes. Hey, strong bad. I gave out some of my bikes. But now the gym leaders have enough money to be kind enough to give 
trainers that beat them, bikes and other useful items isn't that great. He doesn't seem too happy about it, if I'm being honest. I, it seems like he's kind of smiling through his teeth. I'm learning about bikes while I work here. If you need advice on how to ride your bikes, there's a couple of handbooks in the back. Uh, good luck, buddy. I, I hope the gym leaders don't put you out of business. Do you have a coin case? Do you have a coin case? unsure if I want to do this gym yet, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do fight a trainer. A trainer. Oh, right, I want to go to New Mallville. I didn't mean to do that. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Oh, look at Tom. They're still here. Oh, uh, I think Torvald's the best choice for dealing with this guy. Why do you have this in an electric gym? Steel Typer does not get steel until it's Lucario. I forget. It might not get steel until it's fully evolved. Not that it matters, it's dead. God, I should have. Next time I do like a lore dump, I have to play specific music for it. I, I, I fucked up an opportunity. I have something ready for this exact situation when I have to explain something. Because I'd love to explain. Wait, did they? Why do we need to do? Okay, I do need to do the puzzle. This gym's got puzzles. Isn't it fun? Uh, the Mario 64 file select music is what plays when you're really enjoy- like, when somebody's explaining something to you and you're like, fuck yeah, I, I'm so glad you're explaining this to me. I might not need to know it, but I wouldn't have known it, and it's great that you're telling me, and you're telling me it really good. Um, uh, it, it doesn't really- it doesn't quite- it's not quite equivalent to when I'm going on one of my- tangents. Nobody has ever beaten this Pokemon gym. Okay, uh... Like a tongue going to the bench. Next on the agenda, I am going to go to New Mallville. Oh, maybe I can use Headbutt on this tree! 
Oh, wait, this is a secret base tree. That's just good comedy. Alright. This, this game had, honestly, had, like, a lot of good, weird, creepy songs. This is, like, a fun vibe to this song. But, uh... I don't think I'm here to solve the puzzle. I just want to get some Pokemon. You be tumbling. I'm gonna switch who's in the lead here. Uh... Also, you know, I'm gonna turn off the XP share because I, my guys are getting close to over leveled. <laughs> Electric type, it's kind of funny that you're you're here in the power plant. Pokemon pool for that entrance area that I walked through. I think that might have wild Pokemon in it, and I just didn't run into any. Yeah, this zone. Ooh, here's a fun one. This is Poison Electric, right? I didn't play Gen 7. This is kind of tempting. And I kill you. are electric types. This would have been a good ROM hack to do, like, electric monotype run. <laughs> it feels like it's really front-loading electric types on me. Or maybe I'm just biased because I like a lot of electric types. Yes, 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 yes. Gotta be careful here, though. 
Rotom is one of my favorite Pokemon ever. Rotom, Rotom. You don't put the emphasis on the Tom like that. Yeah, I want to use Rotom, Rotom. I want to use Rotom. I want to use Yamper and Boltoon. Uh, I want to use Electrode. I want to use Toxel. There's so many good electric types. I guess it's partially because of where in the game I started. I want to weaken this guy without killing him. Leech life should be weak enough. I know they buffed it in Gen 7, but... Hoping this does not murder! Please don't murder, please don't murder! Oh, thank god. Okay. Taste of my own medicine, huh? Confuse my bug. Not yet. Which life again? Oh, you're fucking my little bug up. Okay. Okay. Surely you don't escape. Nintendo put ROM hacks on the Switch. Is my 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 dream. On. Possibly get you weaker without killing you. I don't think so. I had somebody with false swipe. I think Architot had false swipe, and I removed it. And now I'm well. False swipe wouldn't work on a ghost type anyway. I'm justified. Never mind. I'm always smart and right and correct. Bastard. Evil creature. <laughs> okay, how many ball? on my team. Like five or four. 
four. torn on if I want to just name this Rotom, 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 Rotom. I'm torn on if I want to name this bastard. That feels too mean. Motherfucker on the villains wiki. It's really cute and good that it has this, uh, uh, the step counter that you can just reset with the R button at any time. All right. I have idea. There's something I want to check. It's full of car. <laughs> I knew it. I noticed that cardboard box and at the back of my mind, I was like, I wonder if that's always been there. Full of cardboard boxes with electrical appliances in them. Oh? Rotom would like to investigate the motors of the electrical appliances. Is that okay? Which appliances motor will you allow evildoer to enter? <sighs> Let's see. One between grass or rot mo rotum or wash modem. You know what? I think it's time for some audience interaction. Let's run a poll. vibe here to the dulcet tones of Mauville City until the result results come in. Uh, Rotom Wash is the uh, that's the that's the meta, but that's the meta Rotom. Rotom. I wish default Rotom was better, because Electric Ghost is really fun typing. Uh, I wish you could use Rotomi from uh, Sword and Shield, the PC Rotom. I'm putting her in my ROM hack. Uh, 
Uh, you can change. You can come here and change Rotom anytime you want. Um, I, it's not like I can change it on the fly, but like I mean, essentially. It's, it's looking like it's going to come down to a tie here. So I think I might... I think I know what I want to do. If it comes down to this tie. Oh, but, uh, let's see if anybody's got any last-minute votes. But I'm leaning toward... Yeah, the tie between Wash and Fridge. I am going to use Fridge. Dry. I don't think that that's the. That is not what Frostrotum has in regular Pokemon, but that's better? Probably? Actually? Really good? Actually, I can kill water types with that. Hmm. Alright, so let's take a look at my new buddy. You've already taken enough Pokeballs from me. I want your yellow shard. You just look at this guy. God, I love you. Hero. Well, no, you're not a hero. You're a bastard. But I love to look at you. You're a bastard and you work for me now. Uh... So let's see. What am I gonna do? Okay, here's my here's my my strategy, my 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 thinking. Uh, I do want to visit Mount Pyre, but grass gem. Sable might just be picking up gems. It's cute. Okay, uh, save four twenty. <laughs> Funny number. I'm not going to... I So first off, I'm not going to commit to sticking with Frost Rotom for this entire run. I, I, I think I might change it up as it goes. Uh, but for now, for now, we're sticking with it. So let me look at the map here. Uh, map, 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 map. What I am thinking that I want to do... I think we're going to ignore the gym here and begin the arduous journey up to Fortree City for, for badge number three. I think that's where I want to go next. Uh, and put the power of Mo Rotom to, uh, Frost Rotom to use. Excuse me. And then maybe if I still got some time after that, we will go down to Lily Cove and Mount Pyre. I, I think that is what my plan is for the rest of the stream. I cannot believe... I have spent so long streaming already, uh, and I have accomplished very little. Game very big. I, I guess it's kind of the nature of a ROM hack. I mean, I also, I guess an hour and a half is not that long, but... Hello, I see you down here trying to ambush me with your buddy up there. About to end your whole career. That's what happens when I cast a spell I don't know. Given myself an idea. <laughs> I'm thinking about the idea of a, of a Pokemon ROM hack where Snow Grave is a move and you can teach your Pokemon. But, uh. 
the thing is, if I did this, I would. I, I, if I if I were to do this, and I don't think I would. I think it'd be a little. I think it'd be a little bit. I think it'd be a cheap joke. But I would want it to be like a completely worthless move. But at the end of the it would, okay. So here's the thing. I, I've talked to talked before about how in my Pokemon ROM hack I want there to be a joke where like you get to the Elite Four and like the guy out there in front of the door who checks your badges also checks to see how many times you've killed. Uh, and he judges you like Sans, even though there's no opportunity to kill in the Pokemon ROM hack. I just think that'd be a funny joke. So what I'm thinking now is, like, there's a dog shit snow grave move that doesn't really do a whole lot of damage because Pokemon are too strong. But if you use it, that guy gets really pissed off. That's just, just a little idea I have. Oh, that guy honing his claws. He's just really, really mad about your dog shit move. The thing about Noelle Deltarune is that she's actually really weak. It's just that, like, everybody in Deltarune world is, like, pathetic bottom tier. It, it, if if Birdly had to fight a Linoon, he'd die instantly. Frame one. If Linoon honed claws in front of Birdly, like, he'd be sweating. Chris Deltarune? Chris Deltarune would die to a Sentret. You give a good baby doll eyes to Spamton, he's dead. It's not even a damaging move. Delta Rune is one of the strongest people in the Delta Rune universe, but if she tried to use her powerful axe on a Minun or a Plossel, it would be completely ineffective. It would do one HP damage. I don't know what this cannon I've decided is. I have I have no qualms with the weak people of Delta Rune. This is not an insult. They're strong in their respective universe. It's just that if they ever met a Pokemon, they'd be fucked. That's all I mean. Dry is the ice type move that does super effective damage to water types. Uh, the overworld sprites having shadows, I think, is new because I have seen it glitch out in this ROM hack specifically. So I think it has to be new to the to the ROM hack. It's something that they did here.
He got a buff ice type. The thing that makes me the Joker about Pokemon is that ice type is like very good offensively as an off like it's a good offensive type but a terrible defensive type because fucking anything can destroy ice. Almost every ice type Pokemon has defensively based stats like fucking I don't know Avalon. That's a big bulky defense guy. Uh, Obama Snow, big bulky defense guy. Like, th there's like one good ice type that isn't a legendary, and it's Weavile. Weavile is like what the best ice type. <laughs> and, and you know, not not to not to talk shit on Weavile because I love Weavile. We, in this house, we stand Weavile, but like, Weavile being good is like more of a. Uh, you don't really have any other choices. If ice had, like, one resistance besides ice, then it would be, like, that would solve a lot of problems with ice types. Uh, I I've heard that... I, I don't remember the exact details, but I, I believe that they did some, like, cool buffs to ice type in... Pokemon Legends Arceus, uh, like, they, they, they did some changes to Ice type. I, I don't quite remember what they are, and I don't know how substantial they would be, or if they would carry over to games that aren't Arceus because it's so different. Um, I don't, I don't really know, no, I can't really talk about that, but, because I just don't know, I, I don't remember off the top of my head what it is or how effective it would actually be in practice, but I'm glad... At the very least, it seems like they re like they finally realized Ice-type is a problem? Or has a problem? Uh, it definitely feels like the, the best way to save Ice-type would be to give it some sort of better defensive qualities. Uh, God, I believe that there's, like... If I'm, if I'm remembering right, there is, like, a, a new snow weather condition that is distinct from hail, which increases the defense, like, buffs the defenses of ice types. So, and that would be really fucking good if that, if that is carried over to, like, regular mainline Pokemon. And I hope I'm remembering that right. I hope I'm remembering correctly how the ice type buff works. I think it would get a little confusing if hail and snow are two distinct things, but we can Oh god, this intimidated me. <laughs> hey guys. What's up? This is the sp this is a hard gold soul silver sprite. This is clashing a little bit. I heard about a cave called the Cave of Origin. People rumor that the spirits of Pokemon are revived there. Could something like that really happen? I love Pelipper's noise. Pelipper's such a good dude. I love Pelipper. I don't know why they decided to make Pelipper, like, extremely strong in Gen 7, but I'm glad they did. I thought you fly by catching the whole flock of bird Pokemon, and then hanging onto them somehow. But it turns out there's an HM move called Fly. I wish I'd known about that a long time ago. <laughs> oh, you poor pathetic fool. You simpleton. Any good water type? Yanma? What the fuck are you doing out here in the, the river? This is not a place for bug. You are so confused I kill you. Save you from yourself. Dragonflies do love riverbanks. I guess it makes sense. Dragonflies do love to be near a water. Does this go anywhere? I 
I love the fairy noise. Do, 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 do. Can I make a secret base? I oh, I guess I don't have the move for that yet. I wonder if this ROM hack has secret bases though. How do you do this again? Like you come out here on the little the little thin path. Okay, I have to, okay, so I don't think this does anything. You have to hit B and the direction at the same time, and this this hopping is just useless. All right. Oh, I have. Oh. Hey, bud. I didn't think I was going to be able to take care of you, but, uh, oh, well, here we are. I do like Kecleon. Wait, now you're resistant to ice. I talk so much shit on the defensive capabilities of the ice type. And now look at me. My hubris. I wish that we got, like... I want... I want... I want, like, a regional variant of Kecleon. Who's like uh, Camellios from uh, Monster Hunter? Got like bulging eyes, you know, like the, the eyes that are sort of like. Uh, concave. Concave is the one where it goes in. Convex. I want like yeah. I want like a like a Kecleon who's got like. It's even got like the space. You can Im you can imagine it perfectly in your mind's eye. I want to hear the name raider talk about how great the six flows from the nine. that has, like, a hidden ability that is, like, the entire reason to use Go Go. Grass Pelt. What is Grass Pelt? Grass Pelt. Grassy terrain is active. It depends. But without Grass... Without the hidden ability, it's Sap Sipper, which is... When the Pokemon is hit by a Grass-type move, its attack is increased by one stage, and the move will have no effect. Kind of thinking about... putting... Putting Go Go down here. If I don't kill, that is. Oops. All right. Can your Pokemon use its secret power on a big pile of grass and make a secret base? I'd really appreciate it. Uh 
or wherever and whenever I may be, I always have my power soul in my hand. I'll show you the true potential of me and my dragon Pokemon! Pokemon trait reader Danny needs to chill the fuck out. Pokemon, uh, Frost Rotom would use Blizzard instead of Freeze Dry. Let me just double check that. Yeah, it has Blizzard, which is not nearly as good, I think. Doesn't really apply quite as well. <laughs> uh, I'm just skimming the list. Uh, I mean, like, there's nothing wrong with Blizzard, but it has such bad accuracy that you only really want to use Frost Rotom in a Hail team. The best ones are generally uh, Wash Rotom, where you don't really even need to have to... Uh, you don't even need to worry about Hydro Pump if you're using Wash Rotom. Like, you're not going to think too much about the uh, less than ideal uh, accuracy of Hydro Pump. Because oh, Electric Water is a really good, uh, really good defensive type. Uh, and, and Wash Rotom is really bulky. Hang on, let me, let me, <laughs> the music here. Let me tell you, let me tell you about, let me put on my music and let me tell you about the Rotoms. So, here's the deal. Uh, basic Rotom, not quite as good because it, it's like, it's very weak. Let me, let me read these stats off to you. Let me turn this down and let me read these stats off to you. Uh, base Rotom. HP 50, attack 50, defense 77, special attack 95. That's okay. 77, special attack, speed 91. It's not good. It's a total, base stat total of 440. Uh, all the other, when you put Rot Rotom into a machine, it gets a base stat total of 520. Pretty fucking good. We got big defense. Big, big defense. Big, big special defense. Big, big special attack. Uh, speed gets worse, but only slightly. It goes from 91 to 86. That's nothing. Trivial. Trivial, trivial, trivial. Uh, but let, let me, let me, let's talk about those moves, though. Those moves. In, in regular Pokemon, when, when a Rotom is gonna get into a little little house. It's that's what I'm calling its appliances that it goes into. It's it's a house for Rotom. I mean, really. If you think about it, Rotom lives in there. So, I mean, that's that's just how it goes. Uh but those but those moves, those moves. 
those you have to have those moves uh it cannot forget those moves uh if rotom would it or sorry uh, if Rotom would change from one appliance form to another and knows the special move of its current form, the old special move is automatically forgotten and Rotom learns the new, run, new one. If Rotom changes to its base form, it forgets the special move, if it still knows it. Uh, the only ro ro move Rotom knows right before reverting to its base form is the form special move, then that move will be replaced by Thundershock. Thundershock is like the default catch-all move for, for Rotom. Electric Ghost, the default typing of uh, Rotom. Really good, uh, really good typing, really interesting typing. It's the only Pokemon that has that. But it sucks, as I said with the stats that I outlined. Uh, so, what we're, so you're going to want to use, generally speaking, the, the, the metal ones are Wash Rotom and Fan Rotom. Fan Rotom is good. It has the best move of the... Of the of the lot here because it's got air slash air slash is 75 attack flying type it is 95 percent accuracy that's the best accuracy out of any of these moves and uh it's uh it has a high crit chance uh flinch chance flinch chance excuse me i have to restart the music because i'm not done talking uh overheat is a good move that you get if you're heat rotom but overheat does lots of da uh it does uh it lowers your special attack by two stages it does damage to you in a way, in a way, in a, in a manner of speaking. It damages your psyche. Uh, so, not great. Also, electric fire, double weakness to ground? And because Rotom loses levitate when it's... Uh... Wait, no, it doesn't. Uh, electric fire... What, what the fuck is the meta for, for Rotom right now? I gotta look this up on Smogon. Smogon, Rotom. What are the good Rotoms? Tell me what the good Rotoms are. Uh, alright. Base Rotom, PU tier, or ZU tier. Uh, they, they, I, so, Smogon had a bottom tier that they called PU because it stunk. Pokemon who stink go in PU. I guess they have a tier called ZU, which is where Pokemon who suck even worse than PU go. Uh, they're just, uh, inventing new bottoms. Uh, fan wrote of his PU, huh? I'm surprised to hear that, but that's that's in Sword and Shield. Let's see. Damn, I thought I thought Fan wrote him was better. Uh, oh, Fan wrote him was was in was good tier in Diamond and Pearl. Okay, I might be thinking of that. Uh, Frost wrote him PU. Heat wrote him. Now Heat wrote him. I guess is used. I that's new to me. I my whole my whole shit is being rocked right now. Heat Rotom is like underused here, which is below overused but still good. Uh Mo Rotom. Bad Bad because what was Mo Rotom's move again? Mo Rotom has Leaf Storm. Leaf Storm is uh it, Leaf Storm Deals damage, then lowers your, lowers your attack by spe two stages. Special attack by two stages. Uh, but I think it mostly comes down to the typing of uh, electric grass. Like, fair amount of weaknesses there. Uh, I mean, grass. I keep forgetting that they all have levitate, so I don't, I don't know. I'm kind of talking about my ass, I'm realizing, but I have the music playing, so you have to believe that I'm smart and my story is great. Just like Luigi's stories were. Uh, but Wash Rotom, that guy's godlike. That guy is god tier. Electric Water levitates. Bulky Man. Bulky, bulky man. Hydro Pump, Volt Switch, Defog Trick. Volt Switch, Hydro Pump, Pain Slip, Pain Split. Willow Wisp or Defog. You can use all those moves. R R Wash Rotom has been a fixture of competitive Pokemon for years, years before, and it will be for years to come. Okay, back to the game. Uh, there are no abilities for Rotom other than Levitate. Uh, Fan Rotom is the only flying type Pokemon that has Levitate. It is an anomaly. It is a useless ability. Uh, 
I th hang on, that is a good question. If if Rotom can learn Solar Beam. Uh, not showing up as a move that Rotom can use. Uh, although maybe I should look at the page for Solar Beam. Rotom. Rotom cannot learn Solar Beam. Everything I knew was a fucking lie. Rotom is a fully evolved fire type Pokemon. Rotom is a fully evolved fire type Pokemon. In a manner of speaking. And he cannot learn Solar Beam. I thought Flareon was the only fully evolved fire type Pokemon who cannot learn Solar Beam. Until the introduction of, of Salazzle and Incineroar in Generation 7. Ooh, I'm pissed. I can't go up. Neil Sissierega, you're gonna pay. You lied to me, Neil. I believed you. I bet I bet he was never actually gonna make that medley of all 12 Pokemon theme songs on his flute. Oh. The comic was all Neil. Uh, the story goes is that he asked Emmy to draw it, but he drew it himself anyway. It's classic of Bigger Man. Uh, that's the lore. I killed Skiddo again. Nothing's going my way. Oh ho ho! I like kid trainers. Let's have a good one. If you're not on your guard, you're in for some pain. Oh, fucking. Um. Okay, okay, okay. I, I can deal with Shedinja. I can deal with Shedinja. I got really scared when I saw Shedinja, but I can deal with Shedinja. Okay. Woo! Bite Shedinja. they would do more Rotom forms. They should have Rotom, an electric ground Rotom who enters one of those, like, earthquake detectors, like, uh, what do you call it? Seismographs? Am I thinking of the right thing? Uh, let's see. Electric normal would be a computer, because, I mean, Porygon is a computer. Computers are apparently normal. There's precedent. A uh, fairy machine? I think a fairy machine would be like a bubble blower. Like one of those bubble blowing machines for like a stage. You could do better than that, but that's the one that comes to my mind immediately. Oh, Cotton Candy Machine might actually be the one for a fairy type. Oh, fortune like a like a fucking Zoltar Rotom would be so good. That would be so good.
What's an evil machine? What would be, like, dark Roto? <sighs> Chainsaw gun? <laughs> Is a gun like I don't know, I don't I feel like gun is like you don't need a battery for a gun, you know? I don't think I, I don't think there'd be a gun Rotom, because I mean you can't yeah, you know you, guns are not like electrically powered. A gun is a simple machine. Jack Amber Rotom is a better idea for for uh for than what I was saying. The Bluetooth enabled shotgun is an exception, not a rule. Like, if you made a microwave that made stuff cold, then that doesn't mean that all microwaves do that. Or that might, like, that should be the cultural idea of what a microwave does. When the vast majority of guns are Bluetooth enabled, then we'll talk about gun rules. Oh, hey, the Weather Institute. Maybe I can heal here. There's beds. Hello, welcome to the Weather Institute. Evil music is playing here, but everybody seems pretty chill. Anything evil happening here? You got evil music playing. Uh, oh, hey, my sub alert went off and didn't show up on stream. Uh, but thank you for subscribing, Crashing Waves 14. Hello, I'm looking for a Pokemon trainer to rise this Pokemon. You seem strong, please take good care of it. <laughs> I love all this new dialogue whenever there's <laughs> whatever it happens. That Pokemon changes shape according to the weather conditions. There's plenty of them in the Institute. Go ahead and take it. Any books? I want to read. <sighs> I want lore. Let's see. I wish Cast Worm was good too. <laughs> the professor loves rain. That's a fact. But if it keeps raining, people will be in trouble. That's another fact. And thus, the professor is studying if the rain could be put to good use. Wow, Winona is really strong. I wish I could be a Pokemon trainer like her. I'm gonna put Kecleon in the box. Our time to shine! Whoa, yeah! There's lurking shadows in the darkness. That is my destiny. I emerge to challenge you. Come on, Ninja Boy Yasu! He's the killer! Saying hello. 
I appreciate it. I appreciate the sub. I actually, I, I don't stream very much, so I actually only got my first Twitch payout, like, like a week ago. <laughs> Uh, I gotta do that more, if only because it feels bad when it's like, uh, I, I got, like, I got money sitting in there that somebody was nice enough to give me, and then I can't really do anything but sit on it, because it's not, the total hasn't hit $100 yet. They won't give me the, the funny Twitch check yet. myself a nice dinner with that, though. I accidentally bought... When I, when, I, when I decided to, like, get myself a nice dinner with my nice big Twitch check, I, I, uh, I, I, I bought some TGI Fridays, and I got myself... accidentally got myself two helpings of shrimp. And it was a very delicious mistake. I need to lose weight. And it's not good that I got two things of shrimp, but damn, I love... Shrimp. Okay. Eyes on the prize here. What's this guy gotta say to me? Have you done anything at the record corner? It's pretty neat. It mixes and matches the records of trainers. I don't know how quite how it works, but it's cool. It's exciting. Listen, kid, are you working on a Pokedex? <laughs> Go to the Safari Zone. That's my suggestion. Why you have a Pokenav and it's just like mine. Do you know about the Pokenav's match call system? Access it and you can chat with registered trainers anytime. It also shows you which trainers want to rematch with you. It's a really nifty. These Devon guys sure know what they're doing. Is there anybody upstairs? Nobody's up here. It's just Teela. It's me, Teela, the Pokemon Center 2F attendant. I don't need to know anything, Teela. I just come here to see you. The city consists of homes built on trees. Perhaps because of that lifestyle. Everyone is healthy and lively. Why even myself? I feel as if I've grown 30 years younger. I remember when I was a kid, I got to this town and I didn't know how you were supposed to uh, get to the gym. I think I, I spent like a good hour walking in circles trying to get to the gym. I, like, I, I saw it up there and I was like, but I can't jump down. I can't go this way. I have to go up to it, but I can't. Sucks, dude. All right. Pokemon all, all healed, right? Uh, man, you've given me a lot of... A lot of stuff. Love your chaps. Who's in here? Wow, the thing you have there? It's called the Pokedex. It's really awesome. All I gotta say about it. Two green shards, he can give me a good Pokemon. I think that's the guy who gives out Grass-type starters. There! Go, bird Pokemon! Bye! <laughs> I asked my Pelipper to run an errand for me. That's awesome, man. I'm glad you asked your bird to run an errand for Pokemon. Their hidden powers are aroused by living in natural environments. Let this old woman see if your hidden power has awoken. That's a game recommend. I hold a coin in my hand. Now tell me, have I palmed it in the right hand or in the left? No, too bad. You guessed wrong. Oh, yes, correct. We shall try again. In which hand have I palmed the coin, the right or left? God, this is so dull. Right, right, left. 
Oh, splendid. Your hidden power has awoken. <laughs> she did just make me play Sid Hoffman or Sid Frenchman. Fuck you, Grandma. <laughs> My wife relies on hidden power to stay awake. She should just take a nap like I do and sleep talk. I can teach your Pokemon how to sleep talk instead for a cute heart scale. Interested? <laughs> hey, that's original dialogue! I just realized that's not from Pokemon Emerald. This is not like some- that- this guy! This guy- <laughs> The person who made this ROM hack went out of their way to make this grandpa who talks about his wife relying on hidden power to stay away. This doesn't make sense! How can she use a Pokemon move? And why is she using it to stay awake? Oh, fine, fine. You want to stay awake with hidden power, too. I I've talked to Chess about playing this. I, I have given it my recommendation so far, but I, I think <laughs> that bit of dialogue I want the chess audience to see it very much. That woman knows how to use Pokemon moves. I know that there's in the in the fucking um Hang on, I guess I have to put on the music again. In the newest Pokemon movie, the one that's on Netflix, the one where it's about Zarude, uh, there's a kid who was, like, abandoned in the jungle, and he was raised by Zarude, he was raised by Pokemon, uh, and he's, like, he thinks he was a Pokemon, but he's a human, because his dad is a monkey, and he's always complaining about how he wants to use Pokemon moves, and he can't wait until he can use the Pokemon move. It's supposed to be sad, right? It's like a sad thing that he that he's like trying so hard to do this thing a human can't do. Uh, and you know, you, you think he's gonna have to be like, you know, he's gonna have to uh, accept that, you know, he can't he can't use a Pokemon move because he has to accept his human side. But then at the end of the fucking movie, he- this fucking child infant of the world, uh, fucking uses the, uh, the- the power jungle healing, which is a Pokemon move that Zarud knows. Jungle healing restores the HP of the user and its allies by 25% of their maximum HP and heals non-volatile status conditions they may have. So apparently, if you just try really hard, you can do Pokemon moves. But I guess, you know, if you're just an old lady and you're really good at using hidden power, you can also do that. I guess this ROM hack is lore compliant so far. I guess, I guess, I mean, this lady does have the benefit of experience and age. I want... I want to just try so hard that I heal 25% of my HP or my ally, allies' HP. I think we could all use it, both me and my allies. Okay, let's play the ROM hack again. Oh, these two have set up an ambush for me. Corvusquer. I think <laughs> I think that this game still had like the twelve the, the the ten character limit for Pokemon names, so Corvusquire, specifically Corvusquire, gets just ruined.
I gotta be real with you, I had not watched any of the Pokemon movies in, in a very, very long time. And uh, well, I think I more or less just watched the one that was on Netflix because it was on Netflix and I was bored. Uh, I, I don't know, I guess I was also looking for... Pokemon. I was looking for ideas related to Pokemon for my own. You know, I gotta, I gotta look into that stuff. Except the full wholeness of the Pokemon canon. Um, it was pretty corny, but you know, it's a Pokemon movie. Uh, more recently, with friends, like I don't know, a month ago maybe, we watched uh, the Entei movie, uh, Spell of the Unknown. Uh, that movie's kind of insane, but uh, it's. I had a good time with it. I thought it was very fun. Uh, apparently, the friends who I had watched it with had watched the first two Pokemon movies before that, and were apparently like really. Oh, cool animation. Apparently, very bored by Pokemon the Movie 2000, and they've never seen that one. I, I've seen first movie, I've seen the Entei movie, I've seen the Deoxys movie, and I've seen the, uh, now I've seen the Zarude movie. That's it. The Deoxys movie is really funny because, like, Rayquaza and Deoxys having, like, this arch rivalry is, like, something that they totally just made up because they needed to have a Deoxys movie and they needed to have somebody for Deoxys to fight. And I guess they were just like, well, we haven't done Rayquaza yet. Uh, let's just make him fight the big lizard, I guess. The lizard's the bad guy. Uh... I remember the hot dog machine. I remember Munchlax and like the big pivotal moment. They really hyped up Munchlax, by the way. It's hard to, it's, it, it is hard to remember that sometimes, but man, they really wanted you to like go gaga about Munchlax. And, and it worked because Munchlax kicks ass. Uh, Munchlax was fucking everywhere though. Uh, but anyway, like, the, the, the idea of, like, the, the rivalry between Deoxys and Rayquaza is, like, it's extremely thin premise. It's, it is a thin premise in that movie, but it was, like, it was such a cool, like, kaiju fight setup that, like, I think it persisted a lot more than a lot of other Pokemon movie plots, like, the legendaries that they smashed together for those. Like, like, I mean... Rayquaza and De Deoxys fighting was such a big deal that that made it to the actual games because of the uh, the Rayquaza and Deoxys fight in uh, uh, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. <laughs> Deoxys and Rayquaza is a Team Jacob, Team Edward. Uh, I, I don't know much about Twilight, but uh, Pokemon Destiny Deoxys is a better move, love story than Twilight. Uh, the thing that happens at the end of Pokemon I Choose You that you're talking about is when Pikachu fucking talks, right? <laughs> the video of people, like, watching that movie in theaters and, like, losing their fucking minds when Pikachu starts talking is, like, one of the... That is, like, a classic... A classic online event. Pikachu, why won't you go in your Pokeball? It's because... I always want to be with you. Fucking insane! Why did they do that?
Luna. I I lost. It was too much of a load for me to bear. This world is huge, and there are countless tough trainers. I'm gonna keep training and make myself even stronger. <laughs> Hold on! Hold on, I got... <laughs> There's a part of the movie where Ash is having a nightmare where he lives in a world where Pokémon don't exist, and his poster of the three starters is replaced with a poster of three cars. And I love imagining that he was dreaming of a car world. This is a lot to take in! This is a lot to take in! This is a lot to take in! Are you telling me... The, the Pokémon movie... I Pokemon I choose you brings up the idea that like when you come of age every everybody chooses like one of three cars. The water car, the fire car, and the grass car. That's how real world works. When you're 18, you choose your you choose everybody has to make a choice. Holy shit! I gotta make a note of this for, uh... I gotta make a note of this lore for, for the ROM hack. I gotta find a way to bring that up. I'm making- I'm doing one of those, like, everything is canon things in ROM hack world, because I think that's the funniest solution. Um... I, uh... I, that reminds me of the thing in Fire Emblem Heroes. Where, uh... <laughs> Fire Emblem Heroes is fucking weird because, like, they... they unlike, like, the, every gacha game has, like, the self-insert character, but, like... The self-insert character in Fire Emblem Heroes is supposed to just be you? The player? Well, like... All, like, every, obviously, like, all, all gacha games do the thing where it's like, wow, you've got, like, this whole group of wives, and they're all talking about how much, how crazy they are about you. Uh... Like, every, everybody, like, that's, that's the gacha premise. You gotta have the, the wives and husbands. Uh, but... Usually there's like that premise of like oh, you're, there's a self-insert character like a like a Robin like a Robin Fire Emblem or a, or a Pileth like like there is a character who is like supposed to be you but it's also still a character right you know what I mean I feel like that's what gacha games generally do um in Fire Emblem Heroes it's just you and. Everybody in Fire Emblem Heroes is talking about how much they want to have sex with you, the player, and it's kind of weird. I'll say it very weird. Uh, and But there's also, like, you, the player, are in the universe of Fire Emblem Heroes, and you got warped there, and, like, you're, you have to, like, tell every, everybody's like, Whoa, so you come from a world where horses are made of metal? And there are these buildings you call skyscrapers. Incredible. And it's like they they brought that up in like the the beginning of Fire Emblem Heroes, and then nobody um, ever really does anything with it. It doesn't really come up again until like there's a chapter that happened years later where you're in dream world and the character dreams that they're you or you dream that you're somebody else or something and then like the, the big reveal is like wait i remember car horse and like then you become yourself again if i remember me i so I was being a little facetious when I said that everybody in Fire Emblem Heroes wants to have sex with you, but that said, yes, there is a character who literally, literally says they want to have sex with you. <laughs> uh, one of the Easter alts for a horny booby woman is like talking about like, oh, rabbits, I'm one of those for Easter. And you know what rabbits like to do, they fuck.
I got off, that got off base from the, uh, uh, the discussion of Ash Ketchum having to choose Square Car, Bulba Car, and Char, Charman Car, Carmander. Carmander, it's right there, Evan! Carmander! of, like, a isekai story where you go from one insane universe to a different one. Like, Ash Ketchum gets hit by the truck in Vermilion City, and then he dies and gets reincarnated into another world, but that world is Road Trip Adventure. That's a good idea. Hang on, hang on. I need to write, write something down. Because uh, I just got an idea. Someone in Vermilion City afraid that the truck... Uh, someone in Vermilion City wants to go to the Mew truck to look for Mew, but afraid of getting too close in case they get isekai by the truck. Okay, that's in my notes file. Shot of starter cars poster. Oh my god, it's literally the three the three elemental cars. Hang on, I'll put this on the on the screen. Uh, if I can shots. I'm not even paying attention to Winona. I'm being disrespectful. Let me just put this up, and it's a big image, so it's gonna sequel with. This is it. These are the three car, the three starter cars that Ash Ketchum must choose. But he woke up late and he has to choose the the Pika car. <laughs> God. Pro professor Oak. Some people call me the Car Professor. Oh God, I hate that it does that. Hate, I'm sorry that I'm making you listen to so many Windows noises. The idea of, like, a world where everybody talks about cars in the same way they talk about Pokemon. Oh, you just signed your death warrant. Bet you thought you were really clever, but joke's on you! I got Shadow Sneak! I need to complete my car deaths! I need to catch all 150 cars or more to see. To be a car master is my destiny. Oh, there's badge three. Never before have I seen a trainer command Pokemon with more grace than I. In recognition of your prowess, I present to you this gym badge! I'd love to imagine, like, in-universe, Winona just saw me, like, talking on my phone about the idea, like, cars to nobody in particular. I'm just having a really rude cell phone conversation while kicking her ass. Oh, the same is the good rod. You can use it to find stronger Pokémon than the old rod. Take this, too. An extremely fast attack that can't be avoided. Aerial Ace. It's speed. No Pokémon should be able to avoid it. Oh, thank you for... Though I felt you will remain devoted to bird Pokémon. Alright. Hey, Gym 3. I'm on the, I'm on the pedestal now. I'm, a, I'm one of Winona's certified trainers! Hey, that one seesaw thing was, like, fucked up. 
like it. If you saw, I, you, you'll have to go back and watch the VODs, but like, this got palette fucked. I achieved liftoff! Uh-oh, what? Scott! Just as I thought you wanted the Fortress Gym. Your strength. Perhaps you really are the trainer that I've been searching for. Remember, you have a fan in me. I'll be cheering for the side lights. Keep up the great work! Okay, let's see. So that one took a bit. Uh... That was a harrowing experience. <laughs> he is calling from the square prison! God, I'm surprised he doesn't call more. Now that you mention it, he's got nothing going on in there. That poor man! <laughs> he can only- he can free others from the prison, but not himself. He has the choice- he has the choice. Like, I think Scott- Scott from Pokemon is like a very noble soul, because like, he could just l trap you in there. He could also be- I bet he could free himself, but he's always choosing to free the people who come into his cube zone. I- he is the most noble Pokemon character. He let me go instead of himself. What a brave man. Hang on. I should call him. It's the least I can do. I should tell him this, you know, directly. Oh, hi, Evan. Might there be tough trainers at the bottom of the sea? I can't go check for myself. I can't swim for long. They don't raise Pokemon. Does he say anything else? Because he said that last time, but no. There's something I want to check uh, before I wrap up. I'm not going to be playing for much longer. I'm going to take this flying taxi man. I'm going to go down here. Uh, it was mentioned in some of the text for this for uh, for this game that there are daily gym rematches. Hey, I can't headbutt the trees here. What the fuck? <laughs> These trees you can't destroy. Anyway. Um, I'm not sure if it, like, there's, like, a scaling rematch that you can do every time you play. Or, like, like every day. Oh, okay. Well, there there we go. I was going to be like, I wonder if it happens in post-game that there's the daily rematches, but I got one right now. Oh, he's got five Pokemon. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna be so sad when I play a regular Pokemon game and Rotom doesn't have freeze dry. Oh shit. Oh wait. Oh, he's huge level, actually. Uh ooh, boy. Uh Sapienza. I've made a mistake. Oh no, he's gonna eat item! See, I was excited to check, like, oh, I wonder if I can do a rematch without thinking about the fact that I would have to do the, the rematch. Oh, God, it's that special death! Ah! Oh, man, Brawly fucking wants my ass for this. He's... I pissed him off. Oh, I'm dead. I am dead, man. I'm gonna get wiped by one fucking Machoke. I'm not even gonna see a second Pokemon here. 
Maybe this will help. He seems to be liking Rock 2 a lot, which is good for me. Yay! One down! Five to go! else, I got some experience off of this one Machoke. Oh, I love the hit on top noise. It's fun to just... I, when I was a kid, um, I would go to the Pokédex and just, like, press A on, like, the cry thing for hit on top. And, I'd, like, it's just a good noise if you spam it. Everybody's gotta love him, because he completes the trio. He's named after the third the third really famous martial artist from movies. You know, you got Hitmon Lee, Bruce Lee, uh, Hitmon Chan, Jackie Chan, and then you got Hitmon Hitmon Top, based off of John Top. Come on, Sapienza. Norris would be the most evil Pokemon ever invented. I can't do that one. If not Norris. That, that's like. If, if Professor Oak found Hitmon Norris, he would like pretend he didn't. Hitmon Van Dam, now there we go. There we go. I lose. That's kind of a, that's kind of, oof. losing a, a 1080 is, uh, yeah, one back here. Uh, Chuck Norris is the guy who was on Famous Really Bad. Uh, he was in a bunch of uh, action movies. Uh, and then he was in the famous TV show Walker, Texas Ranger, which was extremely corny and funny and had, like, some of the most deranged, low-budget action sequences of any, like, cop show in the 90s. Um, and now he's, like, a mega right-winger guy coasting by on the fact that they made a meme out of him. I would destroy Hitmon, Hitmon Norris. Hitmon Norris has base stat zero. Absolutely no stats. Anyway, uh... Shit, I don't want to end on a bummer note talking about Chuck Norris. Uh... Let's see. I can do the Devon scope. I have that. Oh. Am I carrying this parasol? I'll tell you if you can win against me. Roselia dies. Uh, incognito window. Chuck Norris jokes. 
Here are the 101 best Chuck Norris jokes. March 8th, 2021. This article is dated. I'm just going to skim this. If you spell Chuck Norris in Scrabble, you win forever. Chuck Norris breathes air five times a day. In the beginning, there was nothing. Then Chuck Norris Roundhouse kicked nothing and told it to get a job. Time waits for no man, unless that man is Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris's tears cure cancer. Too bad he has never cried. The dinosaurs looked at Chuck Norris the wrong way once. You know what happened to them. On the seventh day, God rested. Chuck Norris took over. Chuck Norris can dribble a bowling ball. <laughs> Hang on! Chuck, Chuck Norris drinks napalm to fight his heartburn. You're, so, Chuck Norris is like this, this like god-tier guy who killed the guy, dinosaurs, but he gets heartburn? into the snow. Chuck Norris can be, pee his name into concrete. Man, he has really bad heartburn, though, and nothing does anything about it. He's tried napalm. <laughs> Man, the internet fucking sucked for so long, and it still does. Internet sucks, but... I can't help but feel like maybe the internet's gotten a little better because we don't have Chuck Norris jokes anymore, right? Or, well, I mean, the article was dated from March 2021, but... See, a lot of my friends are talking about, like, uh, you know, I, I miss when there were forums, I miss when the internet was less centralized. Um... You know, it sucks that every, like, there's, like, three websites that everybody has to use. Everybody has to have a Twitter, a Discord, a Facebook. Everybody has to stream on Twitch or YouTube. Those are the only options. And, you know, that is true. I have a hard time feeling nostalgic for message boards and image boards at the same time. You know what I mean? Like... I, I, I guess it was better, but I don't know by how much. Because on a message board, you had like 20 people, and if one of those 20 people was a guy who made Chuck Norris jokes, you would have to hear that guy make the Chuck Norris jokes. You couldn't like block the guy and go about your day or make a blocked account where only, the only people you follow are 20 people who don't make Chuck Norris jokes. You know what I mean? I, I'm saving because I'm planning on ending the stream, but I already saved just like three seconds ago. Those uh, six or seven steps I took were really important. I'm, I kind of got on one, and now it's an awkward place to end because I'm like starting a conversation here, but I do want to wrap up because I gotta... I, uh... Yeah, I don't miss spelling elitism either. People are like that on fucking Reddit sometimes, too. Sometimes I look on the comments of a Reddit... Reddit post, and I see people talking about, like, You forgot the comma! Like, go to hell. And go to hell and take the Oxford comma with you. I'm ending the stream. We can do better. And we will do better, and I want online to be better. Uh, but that's a problem for another stream, because I have to go take a shower. I'm stinky. I, uh, I will see you around. Thanks for joining me for this. Uh, hopefully next time I will take out more of the gyms than just one. But, uh, uh su surprising th that this format is so, uh, 
with, with the scaling trainers, it, it can get really easy for, like, a lot of roots to become really daunting tasks. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've, I've spent enough time wrapping up here, so... Uh, have a good afternoon. See you around.